Once a person feels that I'm better, then when Rasulullah has told us in a, in a hadith, you know, what happened is that he was sitting in a gathering and, and, they, and he was talking about their wrongful pride and so on. And he was talking about arrogance and people who think that they're better, bigger than others. And, the, and a sahabi said, he said, Messenger of Allah, he said, but um, I like to wear nice shoes. And I like to wear nice clothes. Like basically, the man likes to dress himself up. You know, some people, like, they like to come out nice and smart, neat, iron clothes, or let's just say you wear clothes that are expensive, right? So is that now wrong? The Sahabi turned to the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying that, Messenger of Allah, I like my shoes and I like my clothes to be nice. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then said, he said, Inna Allah yuhibbu an yara. Allah Azza wa Jal, He likes to see the extent of His gifts of His servant. He likes to see His servant using those gifts. So if Allah has given you wealth and you like to buy a nice car because it's convenient, it's nice, not because you're driving down thinking, hey, what kind of rubbish are you driving? What kind of tin are you driving? Hey? Look at my car. There's none of that. It's like, I like to have a nice car myself. I like to, you know, buy this nice car. It doesn't matter. More nice house, nice car, nice clothes. So the Prophet ﷺ said that Allah loves to see the extent of his gifts on his servant. But he said, but, but arrogance, is, arrogance is something separate. Arrogance is when you look down on people and when the truth comes in front of you, you will deny even the truth. That is what arrogance is. So one of the biggest problems we have with arrogance is that when the truth is said, they can't accept it because it's like, I can't accept it from that, from that brown man. <laughs> you understand? Sometimes like, I can't accept it from that brown man. I can't accept it from that black man. I can't accept the truth from that, that Muslim. I can't accept the truth from, let's say if it's within Islam, then I can't accept truth from the person who's from, not from my tribe. I can accept it from someone who's smaller than me, right? That sometimes what happens is sometimes Allah makes the, makes the son understand something which the father doesn't understand. It happens, yes or no? Suleiman and Dawood, there are stories in the Quran. Once when Suleiman, he understood something that his father never understood and he kindly told his father, Father, if you do it this way, it's better. Dawood praised his son, right? This is, this, is, this is a humble person that you will praise the other and not be arrogant. And, and this happens. Sometimes the student knows better than the teacher. And, and sometimes it happens and, the, and a good teacher will always put his head down and accept it. The arrogance is to her, who do you think you are? Huh? You think you know better than me, huh? You're banished, you've got lines, you've got this, you've got detention, you've got whatever, because you think you're smarter than me. I know you're smarter than me, but I, don't, I, don't, I can't accept that because you're smaller than me. Sometimes it happens. And uh, you know, a lot of trouble happens on the earth because of this arrogance. May Allah Azza wa Jal protect us from it. The Safar curriculum covers all the Islamic educational needs of young Muslims today in a fun, simple and engaging way. Tried and tested for over 15 years at one of the UK's leading maktabs. The curriculum has been adopted by hundreds of institutions around the world and makes your child's journey in seeking knowledge easy, meaningful and dynamic. This innovative and comprehensive curriculum covers Quran and Tajweed, Islamic studies, du'as and surahs, as well as Arabic in an integrated and structured way. Visit safarpublications.org to find out more.